this is the Mercedes EQC. Yes, again, yes, I'm EQ, EQ Bjorn. <laughs> but today I will drive it from Oslo to past Hamburg. And I figured that, okay, I'm going to make a, a road trip video with it uh, to show you guys the experience on long, proper long trip. But I will also do a challenge. So it's going to be a little bit split. Yes, yeah? so I will do the, the challenge video. The 1000 km challenge will be, will be a separate video and then I have to continue with the rest of the road trip yeah but now we are in Oslo and we are about to start I'm running late here we're about to start in two minutes so um 1000 kilometers uh, we'll end up we'll reach 1000 kilometers somewhere in uh, Germany and it's going to be a little bit harder today because we have some wet roads so just take that in account when you see the result you know because on dry road it should be maybe 10 minutes faster yeah, so I've been trying it to 100%, um, good to go, we just have to reset some trip meters and then we can hammer it. Yeah, two more minutes, live stream just started. Yeah, ooh, so I have some, oh, uh, so I just have to pump my shaft. I haven't set the, the destination yet, I will do that once I start driving, so yes, oh, one more minute, let's get ready then. Alright, we are on the move, uh, actually we've been driving for... Uh, almost an hour yeah and the man it's going to rain a lot today um we just passed Sarpsborg now and uh, it's going to rain for the next hour at least and then hopefully we'll have dry roads so uh, the rain here causes more uh, rolling resistance so it's uh, niche good okay but whatever we can't do anything about it uh so uh average speed so far this is nice because it actually shows you average speed yeah most other cars, I have to calculate, I have to do all this ninja calculation. So, see, 101 kilometers uh, per hour average speed. And, uh, well, oh, consumption though, 268 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> That's as expected with a car like this. So, uh, oh, interesting. It says that, huh, it says that I will arrive in 9%. So, I plotted in. Uh, um, speculator, but let's see. I have 66% now. Oh, damn, that's it 66%. And if you look at the map, okay, I have to zoom out a bit. I'm planning to go to speculator. You see, there's a circle here about what the car expects me to be able to drive. So, speculator is I, I don't see any details here. Okay, well, I can go, I guess, and go back here. Uh, we can see it here 176 kilometers away. And then GOM still claims I can do 250, so it's 12 degrees Celsius outside. Yeah, I was about to say it's a nice day for hammering, well, but that is not true, so yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh wow, it's clearing up a little bit. Ah, nice. Yeah, as I, I wasn't counting on driving through that much rain. But over here, it seems to clear up. So let's hope that dry, uh, the road dries out soon. We have the wind turbines there. Yeah, they are spinning. Oh, that confirms <laughs> that we have spot on headwind right against us. Uh, yeah, nothing we can do about that one. All right, first starting stop. You guys have seen this way too many times before. This is Speckerud. Uh, no one is here, just me. Uh, we have four chargers. Um, so we came here with 9%. Let me show you the trip, and by the way, um, for you guys who's interested. So then I have to fire up the car. We are charging now, getting 105 kilowatts. Not too bad. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. There. So we draw, I'm gonna lower it so you see it better. Two hours and 21 minutes, uh, 256 kilometers. 282 average, so yeah. But you know what, I don't have too much time here because the next charger is about 100 kilometers away only. So um, I want to uh, go to the restroom. You see, this is, this is the typical scenario when, when, when you're on a long trip, uh, the first stop, you want to go to the restroom, maybe grab a hot dog or whatever. I'm a little bit hungry, so let's grab something. Yeah, EV drivers, they will be doing this all the time, you know. Eat, charge, eat, charge, eat, charge, and repeat. <laughs> so, uh, yes, okay, and then how, how far are we in the challenge? Okay, 11.27 hours. We've been on the road for two and a half hours-ish. Yeah, hmm. 
Yeah, we're charging always very windy today. So, as a true EV driver, I go for junk food. Coke and uh, hot dog. Actually, it's a dual hot dog. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff though. Yeah. You know, I wonder why we don't have these French hot dogs in Norway. You only find them in Sweden and other countries. I don't like them. Yeah. So, actually now we are, I think we are almost good to go. We only have to drive a little over 100 kilometers for the next one, but you just have to have a hot dog and then, yeah. Mm. Oh yes, we are on the move again. Uh, <laughs> playing some music. Uh, we're getting close to Gothenburg, so this is a slow part. Um, I see that we have passed the three hour mark and we have driven only 270 kilometers. So average speed so far, including charging stop, is only 90 kilometers per hour. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I think if we can average 85, then we should be happy, yeah. I think that's, that's what I'm aiming for, 85, that's my guess. 90 sounds a little bit too fast for this car. Ah, oh, what the heck, oh, we have some uh, road construction, yeah, in, uh, oh, it gets tighter, yeah, right outside of Gothenburg, mm, okay, slightly better, so this slows me down a bit, uh, not optimal, but okay, what can we do? We are now at Weilberg, it's almost one in the afternoon, oh, look at that consumption, that is for the last leg, yes, uh, and, uh, no, wait, and here we have, no, wait, from start from real no, no this is for the whole trip yeah through the whole trip uh my bad and uh no no no, no i just keep strolling the wrong way this is the last leg 255 <laughs> okay uh but we have to find the next charging station let me show you something cool here okay if we go to the map all right and then we zoom out a bit okay and then so we're here now Valberg. and the next one is actually outside of uh Marmer. So if we just keep scrolling, oh, sorry, there's a bit uh, much sun here. Oh yeah, let me see. Okay, there, there, you can't see it, okay. If you go here, go here, okay. Oh, you can't see much. Okay, let me, let me uh, lock exposure for you. That'd be better. There, okay. Now, if you go in here, okay, look, look, look. Yeah, my hand would be overexposed, but that doesn't matter. What you want to see is the map. Okay, sorry for the sun. There, look, look. Oh, okay, if you zoom in. Look at that. Uh, is that the one we want? Yeah. You want the Ionity charger. Look, Ionity Marmer. And then if you click here, and you scroll down a bit, you see live status. Oh, awesome. Okay, so, uh, when we, oh, what the heck? We should try this feature. Start charging. Wow, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have to focus on the meter. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay, but anyway, no, no, what? No, no, go back. Okay, so I want to, I want to navigate there. All right, that's fine. That's two hundred sixteen kilometers away. Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't show you here. Two hundred sixteen kilometers. Okay, so we have to stay here for a while. Uh, yeah, but just want to see. Okay, if we go on this one, the one we are right now. Let me see. You can zoom in a bit. On, zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Okay, let's, let's cancel the navigation for now. Okay, look there. Wow, it's correct. It says two out of four. Let's go, go uh, closer here just to check it out. Uh, so, you see here, two out of four stalls available. <laughs> and let's just confirm that that's correct. If you go outside, you see here? Yeah, wild bike, you've seen it before. I parked like a like a Mercedes driver. <laughs> uh, and you see that it is in fact two out of four stalls in use or available, how you see it. That is, that is pretty cool that you have live status inside the car. Yeah, but of course a Tesla can do that. The Tesla has been doing it for, uh, for a while now, but this is the first time I see another car that is not a Tesla that can do it. Yeah, so, all right. Um, I think here over here, I have to stay here a while. So let me show you guys the charging screen. All right, so it's almost impossible to read the screen. I don't know why they chose 
this kind of screen here, you see. Okay, I have to sh block there, 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 there. So, 107 kilowatts, we are at 41%. And according to my calculation, we have to charge it to about 90%. Yeah. So, I already started to see the problem that at the previous stop, I was hungry. I needed to go to the restroom. But now, we just drove one, one hour. I don't have to eat anymore. Uh, so, and I still have to kill about half an hour more around here. So I guess I could enjoy the place around here. <laughs> yeah. All right, I had to go to the restroom and now we have 80%. We've been here 26 minutes. So yes, uh, I have one of those days when I have a type 3C discharge. So I tend to go to the restroom for 10 minutes. Ugh. Yeah, I need 90%. So we should reach 90% in about five, 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, well, it start raining again. Just want to clean the windscreen. Yeah, just do stuff while I have the time, I guess, since I don't have to eat or anything. Yeah, but you know, I feel like this car is big. Look here. So it's not like a Model 3. Yeah, but you can see the e-tron behind me is even bigger. So if you want lots of space, then you have to get an e-tron. This one doesn't really have that much space. Actually, uh, an e-nero has more space. Yeah, it's just lots of car here. This big hood, for example. Yeah, but okay. It's still a very comfortable car for a long trip. If I could choose between an e-soul and the EQC, I would take the EQC. Yes, I just love the soundproofing on it. Yeah, and the Budmaster audio system. <clears throat> okay, let me clean this one. And then we're good, we're good. Yeah. All right, we are on the move again. And uh, I chose to charge to 95%. Okay, and we've been driving for 11 minutes. And we're down to 85%. <laughs> I spent 10% in 11 minutes. <laughs> That's a new record. Look at this consumption, man. So I'm averaging 364 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> that is massive. Yeah. And you know, it's still lower than uh, e-tron. So I can only imagine how thirsty e-tron will be on the roads around here. But okay, so one of the reasons is because we are on the 120 zone. And the second reason is that we have headwind. But in Denmark, we'll find even worse driving conditions because then it will have, we will have 130 zone and also more headwind. So you see it, actually you can see it on the wind turbines over there that we, we have a little bit of side wind right now. So it could be worse. And then supposedly we, we're gonna go that direction once we hit Denmark. So that means straight against the wind and the wind in Denmark is also somewhat strong. <laughs> so, Oh yes, let's see. Let's let's do some hammering over there. All right, we are now at the six hour mark. Oh, yeah, we started at nine this morning. So we've been on the road for six hours. And um, the distance so far is 536. Yeah, so about 530. So that means that uh, right now we have averaged about 88 kilometers per hour, including charging stops. So uh, we are faster than Ionic, but we're going to stop and charge soon. It would have been fun to actually race the classic Ionic <laughs> here, but uh, that takes too much uh, um, organization, so, or organizing, I mean. But yeah, uh, we will just keep hammering. You see the weather in the south is much nicer in the north this morning. So uh, that means um, okay uh, driving condition, okay consumption. And we are now uh, 38 kilometers from uh, uh, Malmö. Yeah, Circle K in Malmö. That's a bit funny. There's a police car at the very front there. In the front. And then everyone, everyone just crawls behind the police car. No one wants to overtake the police car. <laughs> Shit. We'll be just like, oh, okay, we'll just, we'll just hang out here. Yeah, we'll just. I will hide behind the other guys. <laughs> we don't want to get go pulled over by the Swedish police. Yeah. Oh, no, this, this guy's like, ah, yeah, it's gonna hammer it. Uh, and then some people, they hammer it. And then they realize that, oh, we have uh, police over there. Oh, okay, let's slow down. 
Uh, yes. All right. Well, we are almost there. We are uh, nine kilometers away from the charger. As twenty percent left. Yeah, I charge too much. That's fine. Right. We are now in Malmo, and I don't know why, but this number just reset. It was two hundred ninety before I pull in here. Yeah. Okay. So we did two hundred thirteen kilometers. Um, and then, ah, oh, okay, you know what? I think it's just temporarily like this when we are charging and then it will show again. Okay, so, uh, two, 575 kilometers so far, Woo uh, We are charging, I cannot see any charging stuff here on the screen, no, no, okay, whatever. But um, uh, next stop, I haven't decided yet next stop, but let's check it out, see, this is cool, you see? We see four out of four stalls available here. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, uh, next one is Nyborg. They, uh, they are building in Greve, but it's not ready yet. I wonder if it's that, no, uh, is it? no, over here, Greve, there, yeah. Uh, so we have to go to, I think, now we will have headwind in this direction, right against us. So uh, there's supposed to be another ionity charger here, Nyborg. I will probably go for that one because the next one is too far away. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it also shows clever or whatever eon here. Nice. But we want, we want the, the ionity. There, 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 ionity. Click on it. Hey, come on. Huh? It should snap there. Okay, ionity, new boy. So, okay. So I want to go this one. Uh, let me see how far away are we. 156, oh, that's far enough, uh, considering the wind and all that. Yeah, all right, good. So now we are charging, and then we cannot see the charging screen unless we, uh, was it like this? No, you, you, this is weird, you know, you have to, when you stop the car, no, wait, can you stop it? There, there you see the charging screen. <laughs> and it stays for a minute, and then it disappears. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, so anyway, we have live stream going on. This is the gas station. I need to clean the windscreen. Just look at all those dots in the windscreen. And here, look. Look what Hyundai gave me. I was at the press event in Hyundai and they gave me this, this uh, power bank with uh, solar panels. So yeah, I can just charge the power bank from the solar panels. It's just that it takes forever. So I just put it in the dashboard, and then I charge it. Oh, free energy, yes, yes. All right, you know, the good thing about Ionity chargers is that they are right next to a gas station. And I like it because when I'm on a trip like, like now, then I want to clean the windscreen. I want to go to the restroom uh, and I want to have something to eat. And what I've seen in the past uh, with some of the Tesla superchargers, especially in, in France and Belgium or some of the other countries, is that they put, this, they put the supercharger at some weird place. Uh, you have to drive kind of far from the highway, and then it's at some hotel or whatever weird stuff. Uh, and as a traveler, like me right now, then I want to, I, I just want the stuff that that gas station offers, you know? Not a hotel. What the heck am I supposed to do at the hotel while the car is charging? Yeah. I wish this was longer. Ugh. I'm a short Asian. And it's a bit short for this big ass car. Yeah, but it works. Yeah. Now it's clean again. We can splat more bugs on the next stretch. <laughs> yeah. All right. The very unhealthy life of EV driver has uh, continued. So, um, Actually, I bought this. Yeah, I felt like having some sweets. <laughs> Bad shit, all right. But also, two bananas. Yes, there was uh, two, bana two bananas for 10 Swedish kroner. So that's about one euro. Yeah, so that's good. And then I want something to drink because this one is not very healthy. It was the previous stop. Uh, it's almost out, but uh, you see, a uh, bottle like this will cost around 25, 20, 25 Swedish krone. But then that's half liter. But I found this. You had to go. You had to look in the very uh, end of the fridge, and this one is one liter. So you get twice as much, and with only 17.9 Swedish krone. So yeah, slightly better. Still sugar load, but. Okay, we can't choose here, so yes, 
Ideally, I want to have itsu like they have in UK. Itsu is good shit. Japanese food. Yeah. Hmm. So, but we're stuck with Circle K. <laughs> yeah, we are back on the road. Yeah, now, right now we are driving over the Öresund Bridge. Yeah, it's the link between uh, uh, Sweden and Denmark. So, yeah, I wonder if. Are we in Denmark now? Are we in Denmark? I think so. Woohoo! Welcome to Denmark. Yes, the sausage land. <laughs> or uh, Denmark for the wind. Oh, actually, there's a sign for Denmark. Okay. Yeah. In about 500 meters or a couple of hundred meters, we'll arrive in Denmark. And then. Uh, then I guess we'll hammer some more. There, there. Denmark. Yeah. Oh, uh, she. We have a little problem here. See, I have the Brubis transponder here. All right. And you want to use the, the Brubis lanes. Let me show you here. These ones. Yeah. Uh, normally you can just drive through, but there seems to be a problem here. You see also the one gate there is just going local. It just opens and closes, opens and closes. They have some massive problem here. Uh, not sure what they do. Okay, there, there, one of them open. Come on, go! Just let these cars pass. Shit! Cars are stocking up behind here. I'm losing a couple of minutes here because of this. Okay, now we're moving, kind of. Is it working? Just, just open it. Free for all. <laughs> we are now at the Ionti charger outside of uh, Soko K in Nyborg. Uh, so this is a bit weird. It seems like my trip meters have been uh, reset. Uh, Okay, but, but this one should still... Okay, yeah, there we go. 730 kilometers. We have to go 270 more. So that means... Uh, yeah, uh, let me plan my stop. So I already planned it out, kind of. We have to go to... So the next possible one, uh, as for Ionity, is in Fredericia, but that's too close. So we will go to Rode Crew. The Porsche Charger, yes. Uh, no, wait, wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? See, I rarely search for it. I mean, I just... Hmm. I wish it would show up earlier. Uh, where is it really cool? Is it over here? Oh, there, there, there. Okay, it must be here. Here, here it is. Okay, it should show up as... Huh? Only one? What? No, there's supposed to be several of those. Hey, for some reason, it doesn't show me the Porsche chargers. Okay, whatever. No, 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 it shows. Ah, that's weird. Okay. All right, uh, that one is 151 kilometers only away. And I calculated beforehand that I need uh, about 65%. Yeah, I have 56 now. So yeah, let's check out outside. Uh, I mean, okay, I might charge it 70% because it goes fairly fast to 70%. So I already done the mandatory stuff, which was a clean windscreen. I had to run to the gas, uh, you have to run to the gas station to, <laughs> to the restroom, but the windscreen has been clean. Uh, the sun is setting. And uh, what I like about the EQC is that, you see, it charges consistently at a fairly high speed. Even past 50%, I'm still getting 97 kilowatts. So, yeah. So actually, now I will only stay for maybe five more minutes. Hmm. Yeah, it's not too bad, yeah. It was actually faster than I expected. So, yeah. Uh, normally I don't stop here because it's only uh, an Ionity charger. Um, we have some, uh, well, we have the typical stuff around here, you know. Uh, McDonald's, Lidl over there, and Circle K. I only stop at Circle K <laughs> on every supercharger. I mean, not supercharger, Ionity stop it has been at Circle K. Yeah. So, so far, I'm quite impressed of how this, uh, this car can handle it, the long trip, yeah. I mean, I feel like I can travel uh, on long trips just like a Tesla, yeah. I drive about 150, 200 kilometers between each charging stop, and then the charging stops aren't too long, yeah. So we have to see in the end then how it goes. All right, we are on the move again. Yes, we just left Nyborg, uh, fast charger there, and uh, heading for uh, Rode Crew. But there is a slight problem, not too big of a problem, but... Uh, uh, okay, by the way, I left 
I left with uh, 75%, yeah, just to be sure. I could actually go to 70, but it was still charging fast. That's what I like about this car. It was still charging at uh, around 80, 90 kilowatts. But look here, this is messed up. It automatically reset the trip meter. This one, but uh, this one is not supposed to reset. Uh, but also this one, <laughs> what? I had some trip and stuff going on here and then it suddenly reset it. Uh, okay, uh, but fortunately the trip here is not, it's just the distance here is not reset. So we still have that one, that's good. Yeah, otherwise I have to just calculate how far I've been driving, but this is a bit concerning that it just resets. I've never been in a car before that uh, does this and I, I can't accidentally reset both of them like this. So this is, I guess, a software error, yeah. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter too much, um, as long as we know the distance. So now we will just hammer it uh, to Röde Kro, yes, to the Porsche, I mean, oh, sorry, sorry, Porsche chargers. Oh yeah, hammering it down the Danish highway. Yeah, we're getting close to uh, uh, Röde Kro, about 44 kilometers away. Yeah, just enjoying the sunset over there, well, can't see it right now, uh, but nice weather over here. Yeah, yeah. Power lines to the left. I think that's some high voltage power lines. Probably 220 or 440 kilovolts. Yeah. Let's enjoy the ride. We are still in Denmark and we are about to hit the 10 hour mark. Yes, that means we've been driving and charging for 10 hours there, there. Yes, 10 hour mark. Woohoo! And we have driven 875 kilometers. So that means an average speed of 87.5 kilometers per hour. Ooh, after 10 hours. But I feel like it's been going kind of slow in the past. Yeah, now we will um, enter. Uh, uh, Bratbushland soon, so then we can go faster. So yes, we are now uh, 3.2 kilometers away from the crew. Let's charge it up and then go to Deutschland. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. I like that augmented reality. Okay, there's a sign there, no? There's usually a sign where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, I think I will see it once I'm about to exit. There's supposed to be an exit here. Okay, there we go, there we go. Uh, there, there, look, 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 <laughs> awesome, man, love that shit. Yes, we are now at uh, the Ionity Charger here in the Röde Crew. So, you know, these ones have been here for a while. They're, they were the, one of the few uh, first ones in Europe, actually. Yeah. So it has slightly different design than the ones you see nowadays, which is the Tritium Charger. These are from, well, it's the Porsche design, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're juicing up, nice weather here. Uh, I need to eat. I haven't eaten in many, many hours. I had some bananas and some stuff, so don't blame me for having to eat on every charging stop. I actually didn't eat on every charging stop. Yeah, so, um, oh man, it's been a long day, yeah. 10 hours of driving, now we're charging, and I just had to get a burger. Yeah, it's oof, not much around here. Okay, I could take a detour into the city and then maybe get some better food, but we just went for some Danish burger. It was 44 Danish kroner, so not too expensive. And wow, we get uh, bacon and stuff. So this is not very sustainable, but oh well, okay. I guess it, it offsets for the very clean and sustainable transportation I had <laughs> just to get here. So, but okay. I mean, a normal scenario, you wouldn't hammer it. You would take a detour and take it easy and eat have better food, but if it was here with wifey, I would do that. But now, mm. 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 yeah, wow, good stuff. Okay, so next stop is Neumunster around here. Yes, 125 kilometers away. Let me switch here. Uh, you can see it there. So 125 kilometers away, we have 78%. We are still charging at. Well, this is a weird thing, you have to 
want to see the charging screen, how to stop it. There, okay. Still getting 75 kilowatt. I'm quite surprised and actually impressed of how fast this, this car charges at higher state of charge. But uh, I think according to my calculation, that is enough. We also have enough juice to hammer it. So let's go. All right, this is it. The Danish and German border. So now we are in Germany. The time is 1952. So we've been traveling for almost almost 11 hours. Oh, and we have done, uh, let me see, the distance 910 kilometers. So for the first time, I will unleash the power of the EQC. Let's see how fast it goes. Okay, there's some dude with a with a BMW who just hammers it because uh, unfortunately I cannot show you the speed the speed right now. Uh, yeah, he goes there, he goes. Yeah, as you, <laughs> so I'm gonna hammer it. There, I hit V max. What? It goes more. It goes slightly more. 186, 187. That's it. This one can only go 180 kilometers per hour. So I'm doing it right now. I think the GPS speed is around 180 kilometers per hour. So uh, this car has been restricted to that speed. Um, yeah, but I, I have to say it, it, it reached that speed quite fast. Let me just slow down a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure how fast I can drive, like how fast uh, I can afford uh, going. Um, yeah, let's slow down a bit. Uh, so um, let me see if I slow down to about, yeah, let's say, Let's say 100, yeah, 100 kilometers per hour, okay? And then I'm gonna floor it. Boom! Okay, 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 170, 100, yeah, it, it goes fairly fast, I'd say, yeah. But I have to say, oh damn, I just noticed something. I don't know if you guys hear it, but the car is just so damn quiet at 180 kilometers per hour. Oh, this is what German cars are made for, you know? The, well, except that it doesn't go faster than 180, but this is the most quiet car I ever heard at these speeds. Holy crap. You guys, if you guys compare this video with the Tesla videos, you'd be like, what? When you hear the Tesla videos, it's just so noisy, so much wind noise. But here, nah, a little bit of wind noise. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> wow, I kind of like this shit, man. Yeah, but uh, it would be great if they made an, you know, an, you know, you could see it. If they made a, 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 a C-Class, you know, yeah, uh, a C-Class electric something like that uh, more aerodynamic I heard that the C class is very aerodynamic so then they could probably allow it to go 250 kilometers per hour and this one the EQC is just very boxy oh but okay uh, I have to watch my state of charge now so I don't run out of juice because I think I'm spending a lot of energy um, holy shit this the current consumption is around 500 600 watt hour per kilometer uh, I have to pay close to close attention to the state of charge. Um, okay, we have cars coming, yes, but this is the final run for the 1,000 kilometer <laughs> uh, target. 62% state of charge right now. Okay, that sounds fine. All right, and let me have the counter up here since I can't show you guys. 919 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay, good stuff, good stuff indeed. All right, I cannot show you the numbers, but at least I will tell you that we just hit the 950 kilometer mark and it's taken 11 hours and seven minutes. So we just have to hammer it and gain 50 more kilometers. <laughs> and it's going quite fast right now. We're hammering at about 175 kilometers per hour. Cruise control stops at 180 kilometers per hour, but then if you, if you floor it, you go, you go a little bit over 180. You go about 187 on the speedometer, which is about 180 real speed. Yeah, but right now, again, cruising at around 175-ish. So, um, car is indeed very thirsty. It seems to hold around 450 watt hour per kilometer uh, at these speeds. So, um, but I have to say, oh, it, it also it, it's in all-wheel drive mode right now. And, the auto steer is also working now. The, the adaptive cruise control is also working. 
Uh, so I could actually let off the wheel. Yeah, I just I just let off the wheel right now. You can see that it goes straight. Well, the road is kind of straight. Okay, let's change lane. Even the auto lane change works at these speeds. You know, this car, okay, it doesn't, it doesn't go as fast as Tesla, but on the other hand, it cruises at 180 kilometers per hour in a very comfortable way, very steady. Yeah, the car is just dead steady right now. It's so quiet. It was as if it was made to go fast on the Autobahn. Yeah, wow. Good shit. Okay, wow, did I say 100? And I said that we, we had 950 kilometers, right? Well, we already had, <laughs> had 955 kilometers. So the kilometers goes up so fast right now. Yeah, I just have to pay attention to the percentage here so I don't run out of juice. But according to my calculations, we shouldn't run out of juice, even when hammering at these speeds. Yeah, so, okay. 45 more kilometers. Yeah, go, go. Oh, shit. Uh, we have Stau. Well, it's not Stau. It's just Baustelle. Or actually, I wouldn't even call it Baustelle. It's just that they have recently fixed this stretch of road. Um, and they set the speed limit to 80 kilometers per hour. But most people are cruising at almost 100 anyway. <laughs> but I don't want to go too fast. So, you see, 80 zone, normally it would probably be unrestricted or something. Uh, so it's uh, oh, it's already 8.22, so that means 11 hours and uh, 22 minutes. And we are still only at 983 kilometers. We need 17 more kilometers before we finish. Oh, we cannot go 17 kilometers in, uh, in seven minutes. <laughs> but I guess I'll be nice and round it, round it down, yeah, because we had so many uh, bad, uh, I don't know what to say, you know, we had, we had, bad weather in the beginning you know there was some road construction here and stuff uh, some problems at the toll road so yes i can be an f1 driver right? i can find so many excuses <laughs> yeah but okay um how long is this gonna last but let me show you guys here look at that cool light yes uh let me tone it down to see it better that light is awesome it's multicolor i, I chose it to be multicolor and it changes light the yeah, ambient light so now it's a bit, uh, I think I have to go even lower so you see. It goes from blue to, to a pink and stuff. Oh man, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is it. Yes. So I purposely slow down a little bit. Uh, we are about to hit the 1,000 kilometer mark. Nine, nine, nine. There, 1,000 kilometers, <laughs> exactly at 8.30, so 10 and a half, no, sorry, 11 and a half hours, woohoo! All right, what an achievement. Okay, let's get over to the fast yarder. All right, we are finally here. It's called, um, I think in German, it's called Brokenland or something like that. <laughs> Brokenland or whatever, yes. So another Ionity charger. Oh man, so it did it in 11 and a half hours. So it sits right between uh, an Ionic. An Ionic would have made it in about 12 hours, yeah. And then the classic P85 I did uh, made it in um, right around 11 hour mark, yes. So very good for a big ass SUV like this, yes somewhat inefficient but you know, the reason why it did it so well is because of the charging speed you know it can charge fast and over a long charging span and stuff can cars drive over there yeah so you know like i mentioned earlier uh in the past it's been mainly tesla which can drive long distance because uh for many years we didn't have these we only have superchargers and these uh, ionity chargers started popping up around 2000 the end of 2018 and now 2019 and they would just grow in size they will most likely not be uh as frequent as the tesla superchargers but i guess it doesn't matter i mean you can always fill up on some of the other ones um, but it still enables you to drive long distances like you can like you can do with a tesla so finally you know we have charging network that supports other cars than Tesla and most likely Tesla will not open the charge the supercharger network for other cars yeah I don't believe so yeah and I can show you in the front again oh man I'm starting to like this car yeah yeah very impressive oh, what they, uh, okay well 
I was saying that, you know, um, it's good shit, but <laughs> this one just happened to be out of service. Ah, scheisse. So, uh, status 274, okay, what the heck happened there? I don't know. Um, and in the past, you would only have one of these chargers, like you've seen in some of the other videos, you know, one 50 kilowatt fast charger. And then if that one is broken or occupied, then you're kind of screwed. Or if someone else, I mean, if you have to wait for charging, or even if you're charging there, it takes kind of a long time. You will be getting about 50 kilowatt, roughly. 45 to 50 kilowatt. But here, you see, we get 107 kilowatt. So what I love about the EQC is that it charges at a very consistent rate every time. Every time, even if I arrive with low stereo charge or high stereo charge, the charging curve is the same every time. And there is no overheating, of course, because it has active cooling. So, yeah, this is actually one of my favorite cars now, yeah, because of this. So, achievement unlocked, wow. But anyway, the journey is still not done. I still have to drive uh, down to Frankfurt with the EQC. But this video is done and then it's going to be a bit weird because then the story about the travel continues in another video. Yeah, but okay, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.